our 650 tonne injection moulding machine. On top of it we've got a Kuka KR60L45. It's performing pickup and placement of uh, product parts for Toyota, the new Camry. The uh, major technical difficulty with this line is actually the gate cutting, which is performed by the robot. On this particular gate, we have a 65mm gate and have probably the only commercially available three inch heated cutter blades in the world. So we successfully remove the part, cut the gate, place it on the conveyor, remove the scrap and present it to the operator. The success of this project was we have a system machine which does exactly the same function. We took the tool out of the system machine, placed it in here, copied the direct tool parameters across, so a same cycle, programmed in the same program cycle as the other machine. With a 60 second total cycle, we got a saving of five seconds just by using this robot. We have our Toyota headlamp gluing cell. Uh, this is a new development for us. Uh, historically, we've done it on a smaller rotary cell. The size of the product now is an uh, ever-continuing automotive trend is where lamps grow bigger and bigger. We just did not have the luxury to actually put the existing lamp into the old cell. The additional benefit to this cell too is we've gone for a three-robot cell, which has allows us to cut the tack time of the cycle down from 42 seconds to 30 seconds. Huge improvement in benefit and speed and time. The first robot is actually performing pleasant treatment of the glue track. We require this because the adhesive will not stick to the material of the housing. The second robot is actually placing the glue into the glue track and the third robot is doing a pick and place on the lens. We historically have used other brands on site. Ever since joining here I've made a push to get Cooker in. Primarily because of the reliability and the flexibility of the robot. As you can see, the plasma path and the gluing path are very, very smooth, which is a prerequisite for performing it's got four screws a in consistent it. glue track. Right. They don't put in addition to this, we uh, use the Blackbird software to pre-program the track and hence get an accurate dispensing of the glue across the whole of the track itself.